Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS Adam programming. In this video, we will see an example of treatment emergence flag creation. So earlier we have seen an example wherein we have only considered the start date of the event and compared it with uh, treatment start date. So here we will be comparing the baseline severity as well. So what happens is if we there will be some adverse events which might have occurred prior to the treatment start date as well and then they might have recurred after it so if such can in such kind of events we will have to check what is the severity maximum severity observed for that event prior to the treatment start date and then compare it when deriving the treatment emergent flag for the same event which occurred treatments after treatment start date so if it occurred again after treatment start date but the severity is less or the same then we do not consider it as treatment emergent but if it is increased then we consider it as treatment emergent so we will see how to derive it so let us go to the specification so here we have the derivation logic given for ASTDT, AENDT and TRTEMFL for ASTDT so we are simply asked to convert the existing AESTDTC to numeric format and then for AENDT so we are asked to convert AEENDTC to numeric format and then derivation logic for TRTEMFL so it says for the decodes which do not exist prior to treatment start so there can be some events which occurred prior to treatment start date and again occurred after for the decodes which do not exist prior to treatment start which means we'll have to check whether a particular decode for a subject existed prior to treatment start or not, or not before actually be able to derive TRTMFL so once we identify those whether it exists or not then if it does not exist so the logic is set to Y on the records where analysis start date is not null and greater than or is equal to treatment start date which do not exist and the record should be present after the treatment start date and then for the decodes which exist prior to treatment start date and recur after treatment start which means prior to treatment start there should be a record and after that also there should be a record in such cases so we'll have to flag those records those events which on whose ASTDT is greater than or is equal to treatment start date the condition for uh, the start of the event should be after treatment start date is common for both and then we are checking whether the severity is greater than the maximum severity observed for that decode and use of CID prior to the treatment start date so we have a scenario in the data we'll get to know better on what we are supposed to do when implementing it programmatically so on all the other cases we are being asked to set it to n so we'll now move to the programming so let's take a quick look at the input data set that we will be using here we'll be using ae so ae01 is a copy of ae with some formatting applied so ae we have use of jd ae decode ae stdtc ae endtc and the severity of the event and the treatment start date were provided to us so now let us see how to implement this logic so we are using a01 as input and creating a02 here in this step we are creating numeric versions of the adverse event start date and end date so we are checking whether the date is full or not if the date is full so we'll have 10 characters in AESTDTC. so we are checking that using length function and then if the return value is 10 which means if it is full so we will be able to convert that to numeric value so we are converting that to numeric value using input function and yymmdd 10 dot in format and then similar processing is done for aeendt as well aeendtc as well and then we are creating aeendt in this instance analysis end date and then we are applying a format of date 9 to the newly created date values astdt and aeendt and then get the maximum severity per decode for the events occurred prior to treatment start date so as for the deriv as per the derivation logic given for treatment emergence we need to check if an event is present or not if it is present so what is the highest severity of that event prior to the treatment start date so basically we are trying to filter out the records where which occurred prior to treatment start date for prior we are making sure that we are using less than so ASTDT less than TRT STT so now let us 
see the base 0 1 data set so before that let us take a look at a02 so here we have some records and then we created aestdt and aendt here in the step when we created a02 and then in the next step we are filtering the records which occurred prior to treatment start date and non missing aestdt so let us see how to how base 01 looks like so here are the events which occurred prior to the treatment start date so here if we see for subject 1001 headache is reported twice so if we were asked to check the maximum severity for a decode and subject if there exists more than one so for these two records so we'll have to pick the highest severity so in the next step we would do that so we in this step when we were creating base 01 we have ensured that we have sorted the records based on subject AE decode and AE severity so all the records of a subject and decode come together here if we see all the records of a deck have come together and within the same decode if there exists more than one record we have given preference for AE sev in ascending manner which means the possible values in AE sev are mild moderate and severe so even if we sort it alphabetically mild comes on top moderate comes next and then severe comes so if there are two records so we have two records here for headache so we wanted to pick the record with highest severity so I have sorted in such a way that the highest severity comes at the bottom so here I have sorted by use of JD AED code and AE7 so in the next step all I can do is select the last record for each subject and decode that I can do in this step so I am creating a data set called base 02 from base 01 I have I am indicating that my records are already sorted based on the values present in use of JD, AED code and AE7. And then I am selecting the last record for each decode within each subject. So which means I'll have one record for each decode within each subject. Out of these two records, this is the last record. So this record would be kept. And then this is the last record in this decode. The only there is only one record, so this would automatically be the first and last. So this record would also be subsetted. So now after that what I am doing here is I am assigning the value present in AESEV variable on that last record to a variable called base save and then keeping the record use of JD, AED code and base save. So let us take a look at base 02 now. So here if we see there are two decodes actually present overall prior to the treatment start date. Out of those two records the highest severity seen uh, for each of the decodes is kept here. So as there were two, there were two records of headache on that uh, mild and moderate were there so moderate is the highest severity so we have filtered the record which has the highest severity for each subject and decode now we will merge this information back onto the parent a data set which is a02 so that we will be able to compare the severity of the event to the highest severity seen prior to the treatment start date for that event. So we'll be merging this data set base 02 base zero at subject and decode level to our AE data set. So we are sorting our AE02 based on subject and decode and then merging base 02 to this AE02 at subject ID and AE decode level. So let us take a look at AE03 and see how it looks. So on all the records of a headache for subject 1001, the baseline maximum severity would be populated. So here if we see, so for subject 1001, there are multiple instances of a headache. So base save is the highest severity seen during baseline. Uh, period prior to the treatment start date for that decode so this is populated on all rows of this one so that we can compare it with the severity seen on that particular record with the highest severity seen during pre-treatment period and then neuropathy there was only one record so even uh, that itself was I think during post baseline pre-treatment pre period so it was populated on that record so now the next step is our actual derivation of uh, TRTEMFL. So here if we see for both the conditions, so if we go back to the specification, the condition that we need to check for is if the event started on or after treatment start date. So if this is common 
for both the cases for the events which were present prior to the treatment and for the events which do, which are not present after the treatment so the first condition that must be met is the event should have been started on or after treatment started so we are checking that using this condition if astdt greater than or is equal to trtsdt then do so here we are checking this way if baseline severity is equal to missing then trt emfl is equal to y so why are we assigning trt emfl is equal to y and all the records where base f is equal to missing so if a particular decode is not prior present prior to the treatment start date so the base f would be null because base f is populated as the highest severity of the same event seen prior to the treatment start date if that decode is not present uh, prior to the treatment base would automatically be null so on all the cases where base is null which means that event was not prior to the treatment start date and we have upfrontly checked whether that start date is greater than or is equal to treatment start date and then all the records which are not prior to the treatment which are not present prior to the treatment start date and occurred after treatment start date are automatically qualified for trt emfl is equal to y else if a is a greater than base save base save would be populated the else for it is where base save is not null base save would be populated for all the instances where the event was present prior to the treatment start date so if a is a is greater than base save so considering the baseline severity is our core definition so it should have increased severity when compared to the baseline severity so that can be checked for if a is a greater than base a. so if that is the condition then again we are flagging it as y so let us see if we have a data case for it so here if we see uh, headache this is prior to treatment start date this is also prior to treatment start date because third and fifth jan but the treatment start date is on sixth jan and then we have one on seventh jan but of mild severity the highest severity seen during pre-treatment for headache is moderate is this an increase in severity no so this event should not be considered as treatment emergent and then we have a next instance of headache on 10th jan but here the severity is severe and the highest severity seen during baseline period is moderate so this is an increase in severity so moderate was the highest and it increased to severe now so there is an increase in severity so this should be considered as treatment emergent and then we have next case of 1001 nausea so this occurred on 1st jan 1st feb 2010 which is after uh, 6th jan 2010 and we do not have base save populated which means the event is completely new after treatment started and it was not present prior to treatment so and this is meeting the condition of after treatment started and base save is null so this would become y and then we have neuropathy so we have this as 10th may 2009 so which is prior to the treatment start date so and this record as this was the only instance of neuropathy the baseline severity was also populated which as this was prior to the treatment started and there is a peptic ulcer with a date of 1st january 2009 this is a partial date and we do not have evidence that this is treatment emergent so let us see if this is correctly populated in a 4 so on all the records first three records this is prior to treatment start date this is also prior to treatment start and this is after treatment start date but the severity was not greater than the highest severity seen prior to treatment start date so this should become n and then we have next record which is after treatment start date and increase in severity when compared to baseline severity so this should have y and this baseline severity is missing and the event occurred after treatment start date so this will become y and then this is a pre-treatment record so automatically this would become no and then this we were not given any rule to impute dates here so this simply becomes no so this is how we can implement treatment emergent flag when we are asked to check the highest severity seen prior to treatment start date Thank you for watching and keep learning.